Dr. Shoney, I'm downloading it right now. We're going to straighten this Same. whole thing out for everyone. Apple just released its new iOS 16 software update for the iPhone. And like Dan, I'm downloading mine right now, but here's why you might want to do it as well. One feature generating a lot of buzz is users can now edit or delete text messages. Yeah, you heard that right. Sent an iMessage up to 15 minutes after it's been sent. Let's check in with tech consultant and professor of advanced media in residence at Newhouse School of Public Communications. Shelly Palmer is here to help us break down this new feature. So Shelly, mm -hmm. tell me more about this feature because you know a lot of us sometimes we don't think before we hit send and then we end up regretting that message. You don't, you don't think about it? It depends on who I'm texting. I'm sorry, Shelly, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, yeah, when you are impaired, whether that's from an You said it, Shelly. <laughs> whether that's from an adult frosty beverage or just because you're too tired and shouldn't be texting, <sighs> now you can just re-take re back all those nasty thoughts or those impetuous thoughts. Within 15 minutes of sending an iMessage, you can, you can bring it back. You can undo your iMessage. It's a really nice feature. I think a lot of us have, have pressed that send button just one instant too quickly and, and regretted it. So they've, they've solved for that, which I like very much. But there are many, many more features in iOS 16. But wait, Shelly, if, yeah. if you delete that message, the person on the other end, they've already read it, correct? Not necessarily. They may, they may have read some of it, but it would just be gone. See, this is, this. is <laughs> we're showing an a image right here. One of our producers, Andrew, sent to Shawnee and I a message this morning, but before I could see it, he, d he had taken it back. So like, he poof. told us he did it, so he never, I never actually had seen it. So if, but if I had read it, then I would have read it, and you know, you can't unsee it. So you gotta right? be fast. Yeah. But, but Shelly, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's not just this, uh, this one thing. No, this, uh, the, they've done some really nice stuff with the lock screen. So now you can customize your lock screen. That's the screen when your phone is basically off, right? So when you turn it on, the first it comes up, it's just a beautifully done lock screen. Uh, there's a kind of a new animation with all of your notifications. You can customize the font, you can customize the pictures. It's, re it's, a, it's just really well done. The other thing they've done that I think is just really great in the battery setting now you can show the percentage of your battery left inside the battery icon i know that doesn't sound like much but wow does it help as opposed to that little barometer they used to have up there that just yeah, you know really that's didn't a big deal. much um the haptics are better the phone it's uh, the, the phone itself it, again this is anybody who has an iphone 8 or above can enjoy the uh, ios 16 and what i think i like about this the most is that my phone seems to run just a tad faster now. I've got a 13 Pro Max, my 14's not here yet, and the phone just seems peppier than it was before and the upgrade. Shelly, you're talking about that new phone. We just have about a minute left, but if I download this new feature, this new software update, do I not have to buy this new iPhone, or is there are there drastic differences here? Good question. Oh boy, boy that's a, you do not need if you have a 13 anything and you're not changing sizes, you you're gonna have to convince me why you would need an iPhone 14. The camera's a little better. There are some wonderful features if you're a hardcore iPhone person. But if your iPhone 13, 13 Pro Max, 13 Pro are working fine, screen's not cracked. You're you know unless you really want one, there isn't a lot here. Uh, the camera's a little better. Back Battery's a little better, screen's a little better. There's, everything's a little better. So if you want a little better everything, sure. But there is no compelling reason to, if once you get iOS 16, there is no compelling reason Shelley, to upgrade with I want to squeeze in one last question before we go. Tell us briefly about the Apple Pay because now when you make a purchase, you can actually track the delivery as well. That, that's right, you can. Apple's done, again, this is part of the iOS 16 upgrade. They've done a wonderful job. And while we don't have a lot of time to talk about it, there's a full list of features at ShellyPalmer.com. So have at it. Uh, it. It actually is a wonderful feature. They've really, really upped their game with Apple Pay. All right. Tech consultant and professor of advanced media in residence at Newhouse Public School of Communication, Shelly Palmer. Thank you so much for joining us every Tuesday. I got a lot out of that one. Always a pleasure seeing Shelly. Always has answers for us. Thanks, Shelly. All right. Let's